are you guys doing? Welcome back to another Kicks of the Week. If you've been following me on Instagram, like I said, I put all of my rotation for the week up on Instagram and Twitter. So if you follow me on there, then you can kind of guess what shoe I'm going to do this week. And this week it will be the Planet Chukka FSB. Um, these shoes are they're interesting, but I really like them. I mean, the colorway is interesting, but I like them. Um, it's just a fine at Chucka really with the uh, midsole and the sole of the FSB boot. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Um, if you're not, you know, type it in Google. But basically the FSB boot is a combat looking style boot. Um, I actually have a pair and I use it for work. Um, I don't work in like very harsh conditions or anything, but it's just good to have a pair of boots that have, you know, some kind of foot protection for you in case you ever step on like a sharp object, a knife, syringes, or anything like that. So, you know, they're, they're a good pair of boots. Um, so pretty much that's what the sole of these are right here. Um, I'm not sure if the rubber on these right here are the same different um, rubber material as the FSB, FSB boots. Because um, I know the FSB boots have like three different uh, grades of rubber. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what they are, um, but it has to do with the grade of rubber and how hard they are or how stiff they are. But um, pretty much the traction is very similar to the FSB boots and honestly they're pretty comfortable. Um, fly knit upper, everything's fly knit. Here um, the swish sign is painted or not painted but printed on. So it's not like, you know, there's black weave right there or anything. But um, overall, the shoe is super comfortable, man. Um, super breathable being that it's fly knit. And there's hyperfuse as well, forgot to mention that. Hyperfuse around the toe area for durability. And the heel right here. And the heel actually has like a, kind of a heel counter. But, so there's support behind your heel when you're walking. It doesn't slip out. Um, fly knit tongue. Okay, let's see if I can get it here. Find it tongue, right there. And these shoes, they run true to size, so if you're a nine, get a nine. If you're a nine half, get a nine half. Um, I like to wear these primarily with like joggers um, or just like pants, but it has to be like a certain kind of pant, pair of pants. Like it has to be like a slim fit kind of, or a taper, something like that. Because these look really weird with shorts on that I found. Um, I don't really wear them with shorts a whole often. I don't think I've ever worn them with shorts actually because when you lace them up and you tighten it up right here, like it hugs your ankle quite a bit and it like it just makes it look really weird to me. And uh, yeah, you can loosen them up and like wear them, you know, kind of like that, just like kind of loose around your ankle. But then your heel starts slipping like crazy and I'm, I don't really like that. You probably get blisters and whatever. So it looks really weird with um, shorts on to me. So I just pretty much wear pants which is what I will probably be showing you in the uh, on foot here shortly. Um, but yeah, find it, um, FSB, FSB sole and bed sole. Um, inside is just a regular, regular Nike insole, nothing special. Um, I feel like if they had Lunar Lawn in here, it'd probably make a pretty good improvement. But yeah, these are by no means water resistant. So being that they're flying it, you know, water will seep through. But um, you hit it with that waterproofer, it'll be pretty water resistant. Just don't wear it in like, you know, in like some kind of crazy rainstorm you guys got going on or like jump into puddles. Because it definitely will uh, seep through and your feet will get wet. I wore these the other day, not the other day, I don't know when I wore them. So whenever I post them on Instagram or Twitter, that is when I wear my shoes. Like I don't post them if I don't wear them. So, um, I wore them and it was like raining outside. It wasn't pouring, but it's raining a good amount. And uh, yeah, no, shit, my feet were dry and they did perfectly fine in uh, in the rain. And especially with the grip that's on here, um, not sure if you can see it. These uh, lugs also have like these little little nipples. <laughs> these little nipples that come out. Um, they're they're great for traction, man. Um, and the heel right here. Let's see if I can get kind of a profile on it. Kind of see the little mountains that have there on the heel but um yeah no it's definitely good for traction um you definitely can wear it in uh in the mud or whatever if you really really want to like this will this is good traction 
um, but definitely I don't recommend like jumping to you know, a puddle or like just jumping in mud because why would you want to do that to your shoes and especially being flighted they're gonna be pretty hard to get mud off of and clean so yeah so that is the kicks of the week we're gonna go to the on foot now and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit so welcome back so that was the on foot and like I said earlier it did look extremely weird to me with shorts on which is why I only showed them with pants on um, you can pull them off with shorts if you really want to I think uh, some people probably can it's just it looks really weird to me which is why I don't wear shorts with them um, I don't think I wear this a whole lot uh, during the summer just because you know I I want to wear shorts in the summer and these aren't the shoes for uh, for shorts for me um, but yeah, totally. If you you know if you think you can pull it off, go ahead, do your thing, man. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, these are super comfortable to wear. They feel kind of weird at first because um, the traction. They can kind of feel the traction, like all the lugs through the insole a little bit. But you get used to it, and it's definitely not uncomfortable at all. Um, I couldn't tell you um, what what I prefer, like the regular chuck is or not because I do have a pair I have like a pair of like jade green looking ones I just have never worn them and I've had them for two maybe three years I just like I just keep forgetting I have them I keep like there are so many shoes that I just I keep getting shoes and then I keep forgetting that I have them and they just kind of sit there for a while and then I'm looking through the shoes see what I should wear that day and I'm like oh when the hell did I get those right so yeah, um, so I couldn't really tell you which one I like more, the regular checkers or the SFBs. But I can definitely tell you these are probably better for like rainy seasons, like you know, if you live where I live. Um, so yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend these. I'm not sure if you can still pick these up or not, but I remember they had a few pairs that had like a, a black and white fly knit pair and a white as well. Um, but yeah, I decided on these because just because they're kind of different, they're out there, and I have so many pairs of black shoes, man. So yeah, that uh, kicks of the week. Um, leave in the comment below what you think. Do you have a pair? Uh, what do you think compared to you know the regular Chuck is like? Do you got Do you guys like the Chuck is more? I mean the regular Chuck is more or the SFBs. So you know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more videos. Until then, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.